All right, all right. How y'all doing? It's Mike Sykes, Millionaire Maker. Hang hey, with me, I'll make you a millionaire. All right, so this is day 40, day 40, 143 of my 365 day YouTube content creation challenge, where I challenge myself for the next 365 days to create valuable and useful content that I can post to my YouTube channel, okay? And try and bring the benefit of the knowledge that I've gained over the last few years and, then, and through the different endeavors that I've embarked on, all right, to somebody out there that could use the knowledge that I've gained. All right, and with that being said, my name is Michael Sykes, and if you could possibly, if you're watching this video, hit the thumbs up, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and possibly share this video with five people, all right? Now, today, I always say it's gonna be a short video because what I'm really trying to do is, I've let it get to 12 o'clock. I've been sitting here on the computer and everything else since nine o'clock, I got my stocks dead, because my intention really was, okay, um, I told y'all yesterday that uh, my cardio um, requested on hire car, okay, and I accepted it. Now, on hire car, it was set up that the rental was supposed to be Tuesday to Thursday, a two-day rental from Tuesday to Thursday. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how funny things work. My personal phone, unless your number is locked in, I usually don't answer it because, especially for the last couple of months, it's been a lot of robocalls. Last month or so, it's been a lot of um, yeah, robocalls calling for um, uh, student loan consolidation and forgiveness, right? And use. If your number's not in my phone, I have a strict policy. I usually don't answer it, okay? But today, when I got ready and I was going out and my phone rung, I answered it. And it just happens to be the guy, it was a Corey Davis that uh, requested my car. And he was calling, he was calling to ask um, if he could uh, pick up the car sooner, okay? Now, when I looked through the request and everything and did the acceptance, and uh, the way he had his schedule was, it was to be picked up at nine o'clock tomorrow night and returned nine o'clock Thursday night. So, like I say, the phone rang, I seen a number, I just answered it. And he introduced himself, hello, I'm Corey Davis, I'm the one requested the car, so in this and that. But I was trying to see if I could uh, pick it up earlier. You know, and I was like, well, what do you call earlier? Cause do you know you have it requested for nine o'clock tomorrow night? And he was like, no, I did not know that, but blah, blah, splee. Uh, but I was trying to get it today. And I was like, okay, well, um, what you have to do is call them, get in touch with them, and see if they can change the schedule time and everything, because maybe cancel that, reschedule it, such and such, this and that. <clears throat> okay, so he texts me back and say, hey, I got in touch with them. They said, I just have, me and you just have to pick up, I mean, confirm a time. So I got, I was like, okay, well, what number did you call, contact them with? He gave me the number I called and called to him, okay, and the person I talked to said that, um, he said that it was supposed to be scheduled for pickup for today, okay, we just have to confirm the time, and I told him that, um, I believe it was supposed to be scheduled for tomorrow from Tuesday to Thursday, and he said, no, it's actually today, the 24th. Okay, so we did everything. We talked me through it. He sent me an uh, email. Uh, he sent me an email um, stating that I requested time change. He sent me and Corey one, and we both were supposed to respond to that email. I confirmed. Uh, <clears throat> and what he did was he went on and changed it to the pickup time would be today. 5 o'clock for a two-day rental, and he would return it Wednesday at 5 o'clock. Okay, now when I came home and looked at, um, looked at Hire Car on here, where I have it pulled up, okay, I was correct, okay? It was scheduled for that Thursday, Tuesday to Thursday. But on one section of it, it had, um, Estimated payout, okay, net earnings, May 1st through the 25th, 
Okay, so I see it on a bit bank account. That earning sixty-seven fifty pending JP Morgan. It's going to chase. All right, so I know where the money. I find out where the money is going. But like I was saying on the rentals, it did say that he was supposed to get it from that time to that time. Okay, like as I'm looking back here, two-day rental check-in Monday, May twenty. Okay, well they've changed it, and check-in Wednesday, May twenty-six. Check out. <laughs> Okay, I got allow extensions in case he want to extend it. If he extend it, he can, and the money will just be put into my account. I will be notified and whatnot. All right, but that was taken care of. I met the guy, a uh, young guy, got a um, copy of his ID. It appears he stayed here in Jonesboro somewhere. Okay, so my next thing is, like I said, I'm waiting now. I'm waiting on... Uh, my tracker to come, there's a uh, wheel light on the uh, Malibu. I got to find out what that's for. Usually it's for uh, one of the tire sensors. One of the tire sensors in the tires that tell you the air pressure when you got low pressure. Okay, it usually that comes on when one of those is out. So if that's the case, then I'll have to order that one, have it fixed, plus get another tire. I believe it needs another tire because you can't put it on a platform with uh, that. I'm just like I said, I'm waiting on the tracker to get that there. Uh, I got sixty something dollars going into the bank a bank account. All right, that's the beginning of that. That there is the start of my fleet. Okay, uh. Ooh. Hmm. I did apply for an uh, American Express business card. I got denied again. I don't understand why. Eventually, but I'm gonna wait. Because until I get some of these, um. Credit utilization. Credit card utilization is down, okay? And that way I can get my score back up, all right? Because I know right now, that's what they look at. It's one of the things that they look at. Hey, all these cards are almost maxed out, okay? I also applied for um, a Lowe's business account. I'm trying to see how I did manage to get the floor and decor, but I know that floor and decor does not sell lawnmowers, okay? So, okay, so, oh, shit. Ow. In what city was your, okay, I know that one. What was the first name of your childhood best friend? Because see what I'm doing is going to look. I know my account details, statement accounts. This is not even what I want. I want to go to uh, floor and decor, period. And see what it is that they have. Tile, wood, stone. Okay. So like I said, so I did apply for a Lowe's card. Uh, I guess I have to wait and find out what happens there. The reason why I did it is because, like I told y'all the other day, um, uh, Chili Core is a level two. Remember I explained to the different tier? No, tier two. Remember I explained the different tiers? Okay, and like Uline, Quill, Granger, those are tier one accounts that you have to build and have so many of those report to your business account before you can move on to a tier two account. Then after you get a couple of tier two accounts reporting, then you can move on to a tier three, which would be MasterCard and Visa cards. Okay. So since... Uh, since, like I said, FL... Since I did, since I can see it, uh, floor and decor is 
a tier two, I went ahead and applied for Lowe's because I'm trying to see if I can get one uh, somewhere. Let's see, tile, stone, wood, lining. Like I said, all this is materials, used fixtures, types, trends, clearance. Yeah. Oh. I don't think that I'm going to find. I like this. This looks beautiful. That I'm going to find uh, right offhand what I would need. But I can be hopeful. Okay, uh, I did do my stocks. Where are they? Uh, stocks and crypto both are up today. <laughs> as far as the stock market goes, uh, it went up twenty dollars. Uh, I could basically say mostly everything went up. No, once somebody went down, who was that? GE did go down, it went down a dollar. Well, not even a dollar, because it was at 51, it said 97, three, well, a couple of cents, maybe not even a dime. Nine cents, it went down nine cents. Uh, every, uh, some, everything else, you know, up and down, okay? Like I said, so it went up twenty dollars. That was uh, stocks, crypto. It's bouncing back. They talking about it. They call it something about a a dead dead cat flip. All right, but it did go up. It went from four eighty to five fifty nine. It had a big jump today. But like they call it a dead cat flip. Something about. Fall stock prices going down, down, and I, they're like a dead cat that's just falling, and it might but fall and bounce back up, but then it's gonna fall because it's just dead. All right, but whatever, you know. Like I said, it's up. That's my report for the day. That's basically all I'm doing right now, as far as that going. I'm reporting that. What I'm doing now is looking. Because I got two things that should be coming to that account. Uh, and that would be uh, DoorDash. DoorDash should be hitting that a day too. DoorDash and that. Okay, because I, since I know where that's going, I know what to look for. Right, I can tell that it haven't hit yet. All right, because I'm still only close. Okay, so with that being said, I'm 13 minutes in. Everything is good to go. I've reported on everything that I can report on for the night that I need to report on. Like I said, I've checked all my emails. Uh, I'm just waiting. <laughs> Find out what happens with lows. Okay. So, with that being said, I'm going to talk to y'all tomorrow. I'm going to talk to y'all tomorrow. Uh, see how things go. Let you know how everything is. All right. My name is Michael Sykes. I'm the Millionaire Maker. If you hang with me, I'll make you a millionaire. I guarantee you. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.